squads who are not cultured at all. Stop. I don't wanna hear, like, when I'm asking general questions, I'm not asking y'all niggas, stop. Y'all niggas is, is black. You're black. You're, you're just black. Just be yourself and hit them with hey. Also, I just bow the anarchy hoodie yesterday. Can't wait finna resubscribe and a little W female viewer, big two months, December 9th. Thank you so much. Bro, you're just fully American. You're African American, bro. That's it. How was that see you in 30? I thought, oh, that, that wasn't an insult. That was strictly, you're black. You're not Trinidadian, you're not Jamaican, you're not African, you're not, you're not, word. You're not Ghanaian, you're not Dominican, you're not Puerto Rican, you're not Cuban. You are American. I farted so loud. Oh, yo, yo, it's Big Ant, the spokesman, man. We back, another edition of Urban Politicians TV. UPTV, make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in on one of the most popular streamers with a big following in the game, Casa Not, making some incorrect, ignorant, loud, and gaslit comments about black Americans. And one thing about this right here, it's one of them times where Dog contradicted himself while he was actually making this little claim in his rant, and he's so uninformed uneducated about it he probably don't know nobody never told him or he ain't been on earth long enough to understand what really went on in the game out here as you heard him say nigga right there y'all niggas y'all niggas dog the word nigga is black american culture in itself we took the original meaning and direction of n-i-g-g-r as a black community in america on american soil blacks in america no other country or none of the countries he named, shout out to everybody across the world, but none of the other countries of the he named did that. We did that. You're black. You're not Trinidadian. You're not Jamaican. You're not African. You're not, you're not, word. You're not Ghanaian. You're not Dominican. You're not Puerto Rican. You're not Cuban. You are American. As black Americans on this soil, in this country, we're going to say N-I-G-G-R is a form of endearment. But this is when you don't know no better. Sometimes you got to know better to do better. We all got to learn these things. And that's what we going to do right here is teach and inform, most definitely. And I saw this first. Shout out to my boy, uh, Goodfella TV out of Detroit. Shout out to the whole 313, most definitely. It came across my timeline. I said, hold on, what was said, bro? Because I didn't see the video on there. And he sent me the clip. And I said, oh, that's what he said. Okay, another situation, just like Burner Boy, pretty much, where he doesn't really understand and know and America hasn't taught them to show the proper respect that hey the Americans over here created all the stuff that we doing from the culture that they were living out here they took what we gave them they took the lemons and they make lemonade they took the this and they made that we gonna turn it up we gonna make do with what it is all the way down to the food we eat and all not that the food that we eat is the best or nothing like that that's all another discussion but when you hear these terms right here, and I say, wow, I do would like to get the front end and back end of everything that was said, but enough was said in this little minute right here. And he has some other stuff going on in the media, I think, with a female and stuff. So that's kind of was taking the conversation away. And this was kind of on the back end. But I did say I got to come speak on it. Like, nah, this ain't that. Because of the simple thing is, bro is dressing like a nigga in America. He gets his hair like a nigga in America. He wears his hats like a nigga in America. You use the lingo of a nigga in America, not the other countries. The other countries that you name, what they do over there, they're not using these words. They not dressing like that. If they are, they got it from niggas. They not rocking bust down Cubans with bust down pieces and wearing their pants a little bit below their waist and stuff like that. They see what we do over here and say, you know what, that's dope, we like that. Prime example, Chief Keith came from black America, Chicago. Not what everybody across the globe doing. They call themselves drill music. Hey, we drilling over here, we drilling over there. Off of a nigga from a black neighborhood in America, in Chicago. And you could take this across the whole entire country. Every neighborhood, every jurisdiction, every county, every city, every state. If they were able to get their culture and what they do in their day-to-day -day pro day -day -day program that make them different to a higher level, 
because everybody got their own different slangs. Everybody got their own different stuff. We create things city to city and we make it that. We'll go back to the slavery days. What we did, we were singing while we was in them fields, picking that cotton, developing our voices, naturally had this soul and this vibe about us. What pain music come from when niggas sang? The reason why we sang so good that pain music, because our people went through it and they passed that pain down. Niggas got to sing it in their own churches, then guess what we get? These things start rock and roll. This thing start all this back in the day from slavery days. We playing stuff for the master in the land. Da, 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 da. This becomes the new form of music that we created. Rock and roll, jazz, and I'm talking about the American side of it. The rock and roll here, the jazz here, the country here, and of course the hip hop here. Where, hey, not everybody else gets influenced, put their own twist on it and start calling it something else. Oh, that ain't black American culture. No, bro, that's exactly what that is. All of it's black American culture when it comes to what he is doing most definitely, bro. It is what it is. You can't get on here, dress the part, play the part, and then say, oh, y'all don't have no culture. Y'all, No, nigga, you are using the culture that we created. You go to New York, they do the Thames at one point in time with the, the Yankee hats, with the Cubans, the Jesus pieces. You go, that's formed in America of New York, the American New York culture. In Brooklyn, Queens, wherever, whatever borough. You go down out here to Ace Time. The Drake culture. The slow down music culture. The candy painting with the swanger car culture. The way that we used our lingo. The way that we produced our sound. That came from our streets of the black American neighborhoods. These are all forms of culture off of your region, off of your city, where you from. That's why we talk different. You go to L.A., they got their own culture. You go to Oakland, San Francisco, the Bay, they got their own culture. These are cultures, but they don't want y'all to understand. Well, hold on. That is a culture, and that is black American culture. So when I do these things, I dress like them, I act like them, I'm participating in black culture. It just is what it is. I keep telling y'all, it's no other way to debate it. Everybody want to force their hand and their opinion in. I rock with people from all over the world, my neighbors, all races, all ethnicities. But we got to have this conversation when some bad info get put out to a lot of people. We just got to have it. People don't like it. They don't want to be told the truth. But it is what it is. We ain't here to spare the feelings when it comes to the black culture of America and what we have done. We had no control over them bringing us over here as slaves. Some people came from the Caribbeans. A lot of people came from Africa. We can't trace our last names back. But our people went through it to create a new culture. And here you have it. It's what we do today in the black community. In America, you could go city to city, state to state. You're going to find different things that people do in different regions, even down to the neighborhood, even down to the crews. We take words, we flip them, we make it mean this, we make it mean that. That's when you go to different cities and you start interacting with different black people. You got to get hip to how they do things out there as a black people because they have their own culture and all this is done in America. You can't say we don't have no culture. It just don't make no sense at all. And we had people that came from Caribbeans as well who lost their identity in the slave trade. We had Indians and Native Americans who were here that lost their identity in the slave trade. So whatever y'all want to believe, bro, don't ever think that black Americans don't have no culture. We got to address that as me being a nigga in hip hop and seeing other people who not from America come over here and benefit off the black culture and make money off the black culture that is hip hop and then tell Oh, y'all don't have no culture. Y'all y'all just American. Nah, my bro, that ain't how that work, dog. We just got to educate you on that and inform you and make sure when you talk to your following, nah, bro, them niggas do got culture and everything. And I'm most definitely a part of participating in that culture. If I think that I ain't, you is, bro. It is what it is. Understand, not everybody that is black American or black is hip-hop, but... Blacks take everything that is black and make it hip hop. The way that we talk to our mamas, the way we dress, the way we act, the way we move. We tell these stories about our lives, our homies, what our clique uses lingo. We turn all that into hip hop. I'm gonna say that again. Not everybody that is black is hip hop, but everybody black takes their daily lifestyle and make it hip hop. That's why you can look online and see 
everybody lingo all over the country. It just is what it is. Tell me what y'all think. We got more videos, all that. 1,000 for shit show. Stay on your pivot.